Well, greetings, citations, everybody. Uh, welcome to AMC Movie News. My name is John Camp. I'm the editor-in-chief of AMC Movie News. And uh, this breaking story just came in less than an hour ago. Uh, the upcoming Marvel film, Ant-Man, uh, for a long time has been set up to be directed by Edgar Wright, of course, director of Shaun of the Dead, the Cornetto Trilogy, um, as Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. He's been basically working on this film since 2006. Word just came out about an hour ago that Edgar Wright and Marvel have parted ways. Edgar Wright will no longer be directing Ant-Man. Uh, an official statement put out by both uh, Edgar Wright and the studio claimed that they had just creative and vision differences for the film. Here to join me right now to talk about uh, this breaking story in the world of movie news is uh, AMC's very own Mr. John Schnepp. Schnepp, you just heard this news a little bit ago. Your initial reactions? Initial reactions? Totally bummed out. I mean, to be honest with you, like, uh, Edgar Wright has been attached to Ant-Man since before Iron Man came out. I mean, he was like one of the first people that was announced like, oh, Edgar Wright's going to be doing a, a, an Ant-Man movie. And was like, wow, that'll be cool. And then it was said it'll, it'll be coming out after Iron Man. It's just been pushed and pushed and pushed. And now he's that he's not involved. I know him and Joe Cornish wrote the screenplay. I'm seriously uh, really concerned. I'm, I'm hoping that... Uh, I'm hoping they're not going to scrap the entire screenplay and go with a completely different take on Ant-Man. I really don't know what's up, but my guess is that if Edgar Wright is not going to be directing it, they're going to be scrapping the screenplay as well. Well, now, I, I don't think that's going to be happening because they have announced that they are planning on keeping their 2015 release date. They're saying they're still going to be able to hit their 2015 release date and uh, that they probably... I've I read some reports that claim that they haven't found a new director yet, but I've read other reports are saying that Marvel has already found a new director. They're just not announcing it yet. I, I just can't see how you scrap the screenplay and still be ready to have to release this film when they're planning on releasing it in 2015 but they're they're saying they're keeping this release date so my impression is that they're going to keep the screenplay they're just going to shuffle in the new director much like they did with X-Men 3 uh when Matthew Vaughn was on board to direct and then you know kind of last minute he walked out they kept everything the same and brought in Brett Ratner to direct it and and well we all know how that went um, but but it looks like they're going to keep this all the same and try to keep the same date, same cast, same everything. But this the part that concerns me is this whole idea about they had you know a vision difference, a creative difference. Now that means when it says Marvel and Edgar Wright, that means Kevin Feige and Edgar Wright. And the concerning thing to me is that well these are two professional dudes who have been working together on this thing for five six years at least talking about it. Why did this come up now? Schnepp, would you even be able to guess, as somebody who's worked as a director in films like this, how could something like this come up so last minute when they've been working together for so long on the same project? Well, I think that's the key right there. It isn't last minute. I think this has probably been going on for at least, at the very least two years. Uh, some kind of uh, tone disagreement is what I would call it. Uh, my guess is that even though they might still maintain screenplay credit, I can guarantee you that they're rewriting it right now with someone else, and some other third writer will be added to the screenplay. Uh, that they're, It's not going to be a page one rewrite, but it's basically a tone shift is probably what's happening. I think Edgar Wright and all of his films that we've all seen and his style that we all love, I think started to hit a few breaks here and there as, as all these other Marvel movies have been coming out. And they maybe didn't want to go so far into a comedic tone with Ant-Man, is my guess. Um, that's just a guess, though. But when they say creative differences, and it's from both of them, then it's been going on for a while. They were not able to resolve their creative differences, so they agreed to publicly, now that we know about it, but I think this separation was probably a few months ago. Marvel probably started looking for uh, replacements several months ago. Um, and now we know about it. So it feels like a a big hammer to the head for us, but I think everything's been going on behind the closed doors for quite a while. So, And the real concerning thing, the, the actual release date for the film is 14 months from now. 14 months from now, this film is supposed to be in AMC theaters. So, I mean, and they're, they're claiming we're keeping that release date. 
I don't know how much you can change. I mean, they got to start shooting this thing pretty darn soon too. So um, this is a, a really big shark. So anyway, folks, look, leave your thoughts, leave your reactions, leave your speculation about how this could happen this late in the game. A director like Edgar Wright, who's been attached to this for so long, uh, very stunning news that this has dropped out. I'm personally very disappointed. I'm a big fan of the Marvel films and a big fan of Edgar Wright, and I was really looking forward uh, to this collaboration. I have been for many, many years, so this is a really unfortunate. So once again, leave your comments and the thoughts in the, in the box below. Thanks a lot for joining us. For John Schnepp, my name's John Campia for AMC Movie News. Thanks for joining us.